Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at MS Tutorials. Well guys, I got a somewhat unusual request uh, to model a fairly large series of nuts, bolts, screws, and so forth. Okay, so this is going to be the first video in a series of videos, and I'll put them in one playlist. So whenever you need nuts and bolts and so forth, you have a reference to look to. Okay. So the one that we're going to do today is the so-called hex nut. All right. Okay. This is going to be a little bit tricky, so uh, bear with me. Okay. We're going to start by creating a polygon pipe. And we're going to pull that out. And we're going to pull that up. Now, it's critical to have the right amount of subdivision. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay. So we're going to go to our attribute editor. We're going to go to our poly pipe that we created. We're going to first set our translate values to zero. So it's nice and centered. All right. And then we're going to go to our poly pipe. And we're going to make sure that this um, pipe has exactly 18 subdivisions. OK. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a polygon cylinder. We're going to drag that out, pull that up. And again, we're going to set the values to 0 to get it centered. We're going to scale this guy out. And we'll just uh, push that down because we're just going to use this as a reference. OK, so let's push that down. And this guy, we're going to give 6, which will give us the hex shape that we're looking for. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to move in. We're going to take this guy, right-click face, and we're going to select that outer face row, and we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude under Face, and let's give it a value of 5. All right? Cool. Then we're going to select this row, Edit Mesh, Extrude, we're going to hit W, and we're going to pull it up just slightly, just a little bit. All right. Then we're going to move to our top view. And as you can see underneath, this is our reference shape that we're going to use. OK. We're going to right click. We're going to go to Vertex. And we're going to drag select that. Hold down the V key on your keyboard. And we're going to snap these corners to the end. Now, because our reference image is lower, it's going to pull down these. So we're going to have to pull them up later, but that's fine. OK, so we're going to continue here and here. OK, now we're going to take these two and we're going to bring them down until they are level. Do the same up here. Pull that up until that is level. Take these two and try to make sure that the lines are as straight as possible. Same here. So don't do this or this. That's what I mean. OK. And try to just keep that as clean as you can. All right. Take those. There we go. And take those. And there you go. OK. Now, for these vertices, because I snapped them down, you can see that they're down here, right? We're going to take a reference image, right click object mode, get rid of that, right click vertex, drag select all these vertices down here, right? And we're going to pull them up. And you can actually hold down the X key and you can snap them. All right. OK, so this is what we got so far. Now we're going to bring this in a little bit. So we're going to right click at a face. We're going to select that outer face row. We're going to hit R and we're going to bring that in to about there. OK, and then we're going to right click, go to object mode, select the whole thing. And let's stretch that up to about there. And at this end, we need to bring it up a little bit because it's bulging on one side, not on two. And actually, we can 
do that slightly different. What we can do is take all these faces and just raise them up. But maybe it's easier to do this. OK. And then we'll go to the bottom here. Right click vertex. I'll hit 4 for wireframe mode. We're going to take these. Hit W. Hold down X. Uh, sorry, hold down V and snap them to the bottom. Okay, so the bottom is now level, so that looks all right. Okay, now what you can do to give it a little bit more of the effect that you see on an actual hex knot is to take all the vertices that are in the middle. So on the middle of the sides, I mean. That should be all of them. Nothing too much, I hope. And we're just going to raise that up slightly. All right. Let's just smooth this out, see how that looks. We don't want that. All right. Okay. So now for the threaded section. Okay. We're going to create a helix. So create polygon primitives. Uh, where do you go? Helix right there. We're going to drag that out. We're going to pull that up. We're going to go to object mode. Let's set our translate values to zero. So it's nice and centered. We're going to go to our polyhelix tab. Let's give this 10 coils. And let's bring the radius down to 0 0.5. OK. It's starting to look a little bit better, but still a bit big. So let's do 0 0.15. Eh, maybe a bit more. 2.5. And then we'll increase the number of coils to 20. That's better. OK. We're going to select our helix. We're going to hit R. And we're going to scale that in. Like so. And now we need to make sure it's not sticking out. OK. So for that, we're going to switch to this view. We're going to hit W. And we're going to bring that down just to make sure that at the top, it's not sticking out. Then we're going to hold down the D key to move our pivot point, And we're going to pull that up. And let's hold down V and snap it to the top. OK. So now when we hit R and we push that down, it's bringing in our thread. All right. So with that said, and I actually want to see if I can smooth this guy out. So, because I just simply think it's going to look better. So we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Single Setting, if you will. And we're going to add one right there, right there, right there, and down here. Okay, let's see what else. We'll do one there. One down here. And let's check. I've got those. I've got those. That should already help a bit. Let's see. Right click object mode. Nope, get rid of that. Hit Q on my keyboard. Right click object mode. Hit three. OK, still not quite there yet. It's starting to look better. Hit 1 to go back. What we need is we need to bevel these corners here. So we're going to go to right click edge. I'm going to take these outer corners. All right. And we're going to go to edit mesh and bevel. All right, let's give another try. Right click object mode, hit three. 
already looks a lot better. Much better. Okay. Maybe we can do one more thing. And that is insert edge loop tool. Put one right there. Q on the keyboard, right click object mode, hit three. That looks pretty nice. Okay, let's add some material. Right click object mode. Let's combine that first. Mesh combine. Right click assign new material. MIA underscore X. Material tab, preset, chrome, replace. Let's create a ground plane. Let's uh, scale the heck out of that guy. And let's bring that nut up. There we go. Let's create one light source. Lights. Point light. Bring that up. Hit seven on your keyboard so you can see what our light is doing. I'm going to go to our render settings. Let's go to mental rate, indirect lighting, global illumination, and final gathering. Image based lighting. We're going to set our quality to 1.5. And in my common tab, HD 1080. All right. Let's select an HRI file. Uh, let's see my uh, HDRI. Uh, let's do this one, 23. Okay. Set my render window. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Okay. And let's see what we got. All right. I'm going to pause the video. See you guys when it's done. All right, guys, here you go. This is our final render for our hex knot. And um, yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's uh, part one in the series. So uh, it's gonna be extended with all sorts of nuts, bolts, screws, and so forth. So uh, hopefully this helps you out. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, if you want to learn about upcoming uh, tutorials, you can check out my Facebook page on MH Tutorials. And that said, thank you guys for watching. I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.